In this video, we'll be using the file we created in Lumion to create a 360-degree panorama of the scene. 360-degree panorama is good for the client to get a good sense of the space. So we open up our hotel file that we've gotten to this point. Uh, we've got the lighting set up. We've got the materials uh, set up as we needed to. If we go to the photo mode, we also have our FX in place. So one of the first things we will do is we'll go to the effect list and click on these little dots on the side and we're going to go ahead and copy this because the panorama needs to have a similar kind of look. So we're going to copy the effect list here. So all the effects we've added on here in the last sessions um, are, are also in this particular file and now we've copied them. Down here we can now go to the uh, 360 panorama screen and it looks something like this. It'll say panorama up here so we know it's a panorama style. You can see that the settings aren't showing here like we'd like them to be. So go to the menu here, click on the dots, and then this time we're going to paste them. And all the effects that we had in our image file are now transferred to the 360 file. At this point, you, you might want to get a little bit more into the room. If you remember, right now we were kind of like in this entryway area. Uh, and although you could create a, a good scene from here, it'd probably be better to be in the middle of a space to create a panorama. So we're just going to kind of, I'm just going to use a scroll wheel and scroll up a little bit. Something like this. And this would be a good place. It's kind of the middle of the room. And actually when we open up the panorama, I'd like to see this particular view. So go down here and as we've done before, we're going to store the camera. And now this is stored and saved. In case we want to make some changes or add another one, we can put another one over here. Notice that the graphic shows the panorama button, so we are aware not only up here verbally, but down here visually as well that this is going to be a panorama view. Now that we're done, all we do is click the render button, and it'll start rendering. For our purposes, the medium quality will be sufficient, so I'm going to click on that and then save it somewhere. And I'd recommend in a folder you have for the, for the class, the SCID folder, give it a name, click Save. It's interesting how it creates the 360 view. It's like a little chunk at a time. And then they put all these chunks together into one image. And the image is going to look kind of odd, but that's OK. I'll show you what this image looks like in a program that can handle the 360 degree views and click OK. Going to the Git folder, we have the panorama file that we've created. There will also be a FSP viewer folders downloaded from the folders of the class. If you click and drag that in to the FSP viewer folder and then open up the FSP viewer, you can see the files in there. And then all you need to do is drag this file that you created into the viewer itself. Now the viewer is freeware. It says this is free for commercial and non-commercial use outside of Italy. So as long as it's not being used in Italy, you can welcome to have that FSP viewer. So just click and drag this into here. And when you let go, it'll open up in a window. You can use the scroll wheel to scroll back and forth. You can use your left mouse button to kind of pan up and down and, and look around. Uh, again, if you scroll back far enough, you can see that the distortion happens a little bit. But uh, if you get it about this big, it's going to look kind of real. It makes a good sense of what it looks like in the space and how, you know, how some of the lighting areas are. And it's a good view for a client. Hope this helps you make your own renderings in the future.